Hello dear perfume lovers! In this video I would like to leave my thoughts on commodity fragrances. It's a very popular brand right now and I was really interested to try it. Brand commodity, the way it is now, started its new era three years ago when the current owner acquired the old brand and relaunched it. They have a series of mini videos on YouTube where they talk about how they restarted the brand, this whole process, and it's done in such a fun and sincere way. And it's just so great, so appealing to see people being so passionate about what they do. I have here a discovery set called the Scent Space Expressive. The brand has this concept for some of their fragrances called Scent Space. They offer three different concentration, personal, expressive and bold for some of their fragrances. So I have chosen the one right in the middle, expressive, and I can say that it's just enough concentration for me, if not even too much. Expressive concentration is bold enough, I think. Brand provides those blotting papers, very useful, and here are the fragrances. I really love the design, it's simple and minimalistic, and I'm a big fan of those samples. They're big enough to try and they spray very well, and I just love those topography on them. Just a really nice, excellent presentation. Okay, I'm ready, let's begin. I'm gonna start with velvet. This fragrance is the one that impressed me the most. First of all, because of the texture that is recreated here. It really smells like velvet. For me, it kind of smells like a um, vintage velvet dress. It has some smoky notes, some floral and powdery notes, and something sweet like vanilla or honey, something captivating. I get also some woody notes and a bit of something synthetic that gives this plastic feel. The, this clear image that I have in my mind is um, a faded vintage dress in the color of the dark rose. The dress that still keeps the warmth and the smell of the skin of its owner. And some fumes of the cigarettes uh, that were smoked in a jazz club. Even on official website, the brand describes this fragrance uh, as a soft texture meeting the skin. It really does have this skin-like feeling, and I really love that when the perfumer are able to give the texture to their fragrances. It smells like velvet. The mood of this scent is uh, somewhat sensual, soothing. It's like the dark room enveloping a somewhat dense and mysterious scent. I would say it is more feminine, but pretty unisex. And here are the marketing notes. White birch, coconut water, vanilla, amber, roasted almond and rose petals. I cannot say it's my favorite, but I'm really big fan of texture and fragrances. It smells like velvet. <laughs> Next, we're gonna try gold. Oh, just very good fragrance. So good. <laughs> I don't know why is it gold. For me, it smells more like uh, silk, maybe. It has really soft, creamy texture. The silky texture, it's very light and I really enjoy it. There is a prominent note of vanilla and benzoin and a lot of musk, a lot of musk, very musky fragrance. I think those musky notes make this fragrance a bit more feminine, in my opinion. Despite being so heavy on vanilla, I cannot call it a gourmand fragrance. For me, it's first of all musky, beautiful, sweet composition. It smells like a, it smells like a luxury body butter. It smells like the skin well taken care of. I really enjoy it. I think I should try to wear it more because now when I'm revisiting this fragrance, I really like smelling it, it's so good. I can see it as an evening feminine fragrance for maybe romantic occasion because it's so sensual. And as I said, for me it's more feminine. I can hardly imagine it on a man, but it's a personal opinion, personal preference. 
It is warm and creamy, but it has a spark in it. I guess it comes from juniper berries. The house tells us the following notes. Juniper berries, creamy musk, vanilla, amber, sandalwood and benzoin. I still don't know why is it gold. For me it smells like um, like a silky lingerie. Yeah, that, yes, that's the image. Silky lingerie in a cream color. I got it. That's the vibe. Next we are gonna try milk. This is sandy biscuit dipped in milk. My husband does that all the time. <laughs> sandy biscuits that you put in a cup of milk. It's very, it's very sweet vanilla and lactonic fragrance with some caramel nuances. In my opinion, it's quite heavy and very sweet. I would say it needs temperature below zero because in summer it can be so suffocating. It's just so sweet. It has some smoky nuances that comes from uh, probably tonka beans, but very dimmed. First of all, it's vanillic and lactonic fragrance. I'm not the biggest fan of lactonic fragrances, but this one is quite nice. I especially love this biscuit, this cookie feeling, so delicious. The notes that Brent suggests are cold milk accord, skin musk, warm marshmallow, mahogany wood and tonka bean. Where is vanilla though? Where is vanilla? There's definitely some vanilla. In my opinion, it's one of the most interesting fragrances uh, in the whole Discovery set. Especially I like this, this biscuit yumi, this delicious feeling. But I cannot say that it's my favorite in a category of gourmand scents. As for me, I think I would rather prefer something like Lyra from Zorjov, a bit more caramelly and less lactonic gourmand fragrance. But if you are a lactonic fragrance lover, that's a really good one. Following three fragrances are more fresh, more aromatic. The book. It reminds me quite a lot Santal 33 from Le Labo. It's not exactly the same, but not far. It is fresh and green with some comforts notes uh, from eucalyptus on top, but then it has this really nice uh, woody heart of uh, sandalwood and cedarwood. It has a touch of violet um, that brings some powderiness um, and some even leather nuances. I can imagine this scent on a young man in a downtown of a big city. It smells like, um, like a person who keeps their life in balance. It smells professional, um, put together, but at the same time it smells so natural and so peaceful. It has somewhat uh, aroma therapeutic effect on me. It can possibly help me to concentrate, to calm down my mind and those woody aromatic type of fragrances, they often do that. It doesn't smell, uh, it doesn't smell like book or paper for me. It smells more like a um, eucalyptus leaf uh, wrapped between the fingers. It's a very natural smell. The notes mentioned are eucalyptus, bergamot, violet, cedarwood, sandalwood, amaris musk, amber, vetiver, all the beautiful and natural smells. In my opinion, it's a bit more masculine. But uh, if I were preparing for exams, school exams, this is something I could easily spray on my t-shirt to surround myself with this atmosphere of security, concentration, calmness. It's very therapeutic scent, very nice. Then let's gonna try paper. <sighs> this, that's a weird scent. It, it smells like lacquer for me. Or like a nail polisher. 
The notes are ISO is super cedar wood sandalwood. I'm not a big fan of molecular type of scents, uh, especially ISO is super, because for me it smells somewhat dirty, very synthetic. I know that people often say the opposite, that it smells clean. What I smell here is the lacquered furniture. I think that the previous one book was so much more interesting, so much more depth, a very complex, beautiful scent. But this one is, is a miss for me. I don't recommend. <laughs> the last fragrance is called Moss. This is very bright, very beautiful bergamot scent. And then we, and then we got some um, petty grain and orange blossom notes. It's very happy, natural and somewhat powerful citrusy scent. I'm thinking of the name Moss. To be called a moss, in my opinion, it is missing something. It's missing this scent of undergrowth of the forest. I would imagine moss to smell a bit more dirty and earthy. I wish it were a bit more shipper-like. I like this tingling effect in the nose that shipper fragrances give this sparkling effect. Imagine the smell of undergrowth. It has some green forest moss, some moist earthy notes, some maybe berry scents, little pine trees, and that's what I'm missing here. For me, it's mostly a powerful, beautiful citrus fragrance, but not creative enough. The notes here are grapefruit, bergamot, petit grain, orange blossom, cedarwood, and oak moss. After trying the discovery set, uh, I have somewhat mixed feeling about the brand. On one hand, the concept is so transparent, new, so like interesting clear concept and the fragrances achieve what they aim for. I feel like what was written in the brief was perfectly recreated uh, in the fragrance itself. Everything is so cool, really nice, client-oriented, but I'm not in love. There is no fragrance that I'm in love with. I like some fragrances more, some fragrances less, but overall I'm not impressed. I feel like maybe it's just not my house. Or maybe I should try other fragrances from them. I don't get this wow, I want more of what you do effect uh, like I had when I was uh, experiencing L'Artisan Parfumeur or Mattia Premier fragrances. Anyways, the discovery set is worth discovering. It's like a small perfume wardrobe, for example, for traveling for you and your partner. Considering how popular the brand is, how hyped it is, I feel like I was expecting more. I can give this brand maybe 6.5, 7 on 10, just a good brand. That's why I find it important not to follow the hype and buy the full-size bottle, but instead get the discovery set, try the fragrances properly and make your own conclusions. What I can highlight is gold, very beautiful, and maybe velvet because it was so surprising for me to experience it. Also, I really enjoyed book, very relaxing scent. So yeah, those three, my favorites. Okay, I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.